Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward part, I don't know. Million. Uh, last episode, we got the Sigma ending. Our arms are robots. Yes, we also got the key to gate one, which we already got the uh, key to gate two. Now the two gates, as you may remember from approximately 15 parts ago, uh, were needed for the director's office to solve the mystery of the two-headed lion. Now, since we're going back to a branch that we haven't visited in so long, yes, to wrap up the story there, I'm going to just do a brief recap of what happened. So I'm glad you remember. Oh, this is the Gollum Bay one. Okay. Yes. So in the first door, initially we went through the Magenta door with Luna, and then we chose to ally with Luna. Then we went through the green door again with Luna and Alice, I yes. believe. We encountered the Golem Bay where the Golem told us a bunch of stuff. Yes. That I'm sure if it's uh, notable, we'll f be reminded of in a flashback. Then we allied again with Luna. And then we escaped. No, we went through the security room. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, the security room, I believe, was with. Luna again. No, no, it was with Phi. And this was the one where we found the cameras for all the different rooms. And then Sigma had a bout with Radical Six where time appeared to be fast forwarded. Yes. He had to like go lie down. Phi found out that there was an active golem uh, or an active AI, I guess, still in the system. And they didn't really go too far into that. It was just like, then, oh, that's weird. They started finding out that everyone else was dead and that Quark was missing. Quark yes. is missing and everyone else is dead. Dio, Except for us and Phi. Yes, but there's someone else in the facility because the AB room was unlocked. So someone had a star key and they unlocked the AB room, but we have no idea who it is. Uh, Dio mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, what's his name? K. K. Dio and K killed each other in the rec room, mm -hmm. it seems. We found out that Dio had blown his bracelet, so he killed the old woman mm -hmm. in the beginning of the game. Right. Uh, we found Tenmyoji and Clover handcuffed to the sink, dead. Mm -hmm. And uh, Clover had 016 written in blood on her thigh. Wow, I do not remember that part. Yeah. The 016. And Alice... Was she in the... Uh, she was in the crew quarters, like always. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. I can't remember. I think she had the knife, the Myrmidon knife in her chest. So it wasn't the scalpel. So it was Dio. So Dio killed her, we can assume. She right. did not scalpel herself with Radical Six. Right. And Luna? Uh, I was can't remember. Was she in the medical, the infirmary? We found Luna dead in the crew quarters right next to Alice. That's... Okay. Is, is all I remember. Okay. All right. So we're going to go solve the mystery of the two-headed lion. Oh, my God. This is where thing From this point on, things are just going to... I am so happy. They're just going to roll. Oh, it's I just, forgot about this room. It's just us with Fi at the moment. Yes. Who is my favorite character? Fi? Yeah. I like Fi. Oh, stop it. No, I like Fi, too. I was just pretending. I know. Huh. There's no one here. There's no one here. I already heard her say, my computer's been turned on. Yeah, maybe Dio and Kay did that. What the hell is this? A lion. It's biting. The sun? Now remember we saw that graffiti when the ninth lion, if the ninth lion bites ninth the sun, lion, yeah. ninth lion bites the sun, uh, memento mori. Yeah. To remember death. It has a couple input fields for a user ID and a password. We probably can't use it unless we know what those are. Why don't you put something in? Sure. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, just I don't, as I thought. It's just random. Might as well forget about this thing for now. We can't get anywhere without a password. Let's see if we can find any other clues. This is the director's office after all. If we turn the place upside down, we're bound to find something. Shall we? We shall. Phi turned and headed off toward a bookshelf, leaving me alone next to the desk. I felt compelled to stay, found myself staring at the screen. A lion biting 
the sun. <laughs> lion biting the sun. Lion biting the sun. And that's what we just said. Remember death if the ninth lion ate the sun. Could, could this be the ninth lion? Then, maybe... Very dramatic. Thank you. Oh. Remember death. And remember, we got Remember the codes death. that we have from two people that were about to die. Kay and Luna were the ones that gave us the codes. Mm -hmm. Which begs the question, how did they know the codes? Yes. It, assuming that they're correct. So if you didn't write anything down, are you just screwed? Like, do you have to go back and play those you parts can, again? You can just jump back, because they have them marked on the map, like, mm -hmm. password to the second gate, password to gate two. That <laughs> okay, so female. we've got Milkavoli and GTF DML 016. Right. Interesting. It's got enough characters. GTF DML. GTF DML. Zero. One. Six. Try them the other way. So, what if it's GTF? Yeah. And then. Mikvane. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, it's because I've got the... Yeah. What? What? Yo, Fi. We remember death. Fi. Come, come over here. What's wrong? I, I got in. What? what? How did you figure out the login? I, I don't know. I just... I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it means I just knew it. You gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. Yes, it does. You sure? It might. What? I don't... Uh, look, just forget about that. Come take a look at this. Sure. Fine. <laughs> just let me get right on that. Are you out Whatever. of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? <laughs> They're communicating really well. We continued to yell at one another for several more minutes. But no matter what Fi asked me, I could never come up with an answer that satisfied her. Eventually, she seemed to give up. Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. All right. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. I gave her what she'd asked for. GTF DML 016. Her search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, Fi opened one. Golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a golem? Looks like it. So is GTF DML 016 a golem's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. <gasps> Is that Luna? It would appear that way. Luna. Yeah. 
Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, appearance after application of ABT. 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 Artificial biological tissue. It is this special right. artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. Tissue. 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 When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of And that's where he got disconnected. I see. And Luna, Luna was, was in the room with us? Huh? Luna was in the room with us? Uh... I thought it was Luna and Alice and the Golem Bay. And DML016 was her product ID. That must have been what Golem was trying to tell us when when he was stopped. Hmm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Currently operational. Executing special mission? You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So why did Zero Senior want a robot as a participant? You think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happened, she was supposed to correct it or something. What if it was some kind of Voight Kampf test? A what? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. Whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. That might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room. And the eight of us are the people outside it. Hmm. Well, like I always say... It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, and it's probably a person. How many others are golems? When did you figure it out? That she was a golem, I mean. Right now. I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with golem in the pantry, you said something about how this game might be sort of like the Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew it? Yeah. Look, forget about that. <laughs> See Luna's status? Yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational. Executing special mission. So she's not dead. Whoa. Wait, what the hell? Luna's dead. Do you think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is- Yeah, yeah. Of course. Luna's the one who opened the AB gate. That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What do you mean? What are the last three digits of her product ID? 016. And where have we seen that before? No. No, I don't believe it. Are you saying it was Luna who had handcuffed Clover and Temioji? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? The crew quarters, of course I remember. Good, because I didn't. <laughs> okay. 
Is the knife gone? Her body's gone. Well, I'm just saying it's the knife from... Yes, Dio took the knife. There was We had that whole thing and we were looking for the security cam footage. So that was this, okay. And someone took the knife, yeah. <laughs> we were right. Yeah. Why? Why would Luna... Stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Right. Off we go then. I thought you said ripe. Right. Ripe. Right. Who are we voting against? Luna? I think we were with her all three rounds. Let's betray the hell out of her. Huh? Let's betray her. Wow. This is you right now. Invalid hair detected. <laughs> Please retry with valid partner. Oh yeah. Forgot about this thing. Right. Luna's bracelet. Yeah. With her bracelet, there's three in this room. I stepped outside. I set Luna's bracelet down. Then head back into the AB room. Two minutes remain until polling closes. All right, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. You really want to hit betray, huh? <laughs> Wait, Sigma. Huh? What? Luna? One minute remains. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell's going on? Why is Luna here? She's probably planning on participating in the game. You mean she's gonna take the bracelet and go into one of the other rooms? Yeah. How's she gonna vote? Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. Mm-hmm. She's got seven VP, right? Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. What? Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has nine BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Then why? Is she doing this? Isn't to keep that us obvious? Here. Huh? To keep us here. She wants to keep our BP below nine. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get nine BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling. Now my betraying goes. idea isn't so bad, is it? Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four. And I, I trust him. Hey, you already showed us that. And one. I, I will always betray Luna. So, what do you think? B -b -b betray. Well, why don't you c c c click it? Cause you always click it. I know. I don't know why I don't like. Just make you do it. Make Your dirty good. deeds. <laughs> Round three of the Ambidex game has been completed. Bye, girl. Luna's never betrayed us before. Yeah, it's screw Results. it. Thank you, Ambidex game. She's just you trying to keep betray us here her all the time. See, I never trusted her because I knew. I just knew, as if I've done this before. Luna, where's Luna? I leapt out the door and ran towards the AB room. I thought she'd enter, but... She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. Then... Oh, 
She didn't vote? There was. No. She didn't take it. That doesn't make sense. Why would she show up just when we're about to vote? There was no reason for her to come here if she was just going to default. Results from round three of the Amidex game. Please direct your attention. Yeah. R right. The results. Yeah. Let's go have a look. We already know what it's going to be if she didn't vote. Look. Bye's the only one. <laughs> Dead. Dead. I was wrong! Hope you feel proud Once of yourself. Well, it's not like she had won. You still betrayed her. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. And the other six got... penalized. Penal. Hey. Hey! hey yeah, we know. Five of them are dead already, and Quark's bracelet is off. That means all those penalties are meaningless. Yeah. Yeah, we found Quark's bracelet on the floor in the infirmary, remember? Yeah. So he's not only missing, but his bracelet's off somehow. Right. We still don't know why Luna showed up, though. There's no reason to come here just to abstain. I can only guess at her reasons, but I'm sure it was part of some plan. Mm-hmm. A plan for what? Who knows? To manipulate them. So what do we do now? Whatever Luna's scheming, we still managed to get 9 BP. Do you want to leave? No, we can't. We still don't know if Quark is safe. No way am I leaving before we find him. I agree. I hoped you'd say that. So, are you going to stay? <laughs> of course. Let's get moving. I totally expected her to be like, I hope you say that. Bye! <laughs> she spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels. Where's Quirky? Quirky Don't call Quirky. Him quirky. I will call him what I want to call him. What was that accent? Been doing a lot of southern accents lately. I will call him what I want to call him. It's like EB from Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> E.B. Farnham. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite character of all time. I have been overtaken by a most abusive plague, <laughs> the agonies of which have never been seen in the course of history. <laughs> you have a toothache, E.B.? Ah, oh, the agonies of the damned. <laughs> <laughs> it is a... Uh, E.B., I demand entry. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines. No, is it? They were like, who is it? And he was like, E.B., demanding entry. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lame duck. I love it. All right. Shit. He's not here either. This is the last room. Well, the last room we can get into. We haven't seen... We haven't, And we haven't seen Luna either? And we haven't seen Luna. And we haven't seen Luna. Uh, I can't believe uh, there's a typo uh, in this massively text-heavy game. How, do people even graduate high school? What losers? We're being sarcastic. Yeah. 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 See, even <laughs> Fi agrees. Where the hell does she go? We're standing there, trying to decide what to do next. We heard a familiar voice echo through the facility. Oh. The number nine door has been opened. I'm sorry, it what? Will remain open for nine seconds. What? What? No. That's not possible. What's not possible? But she only bit her lip and said nothing. Then all too soon, it was over. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door 
have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. What? What just happened? It's all over now, isn't it? We're stuck here forever. We should go back to the Floor A warehouse. I need to know if the door actually opened or not. With that, she was off. Yeah. With a sigh, I turned to follow. I forgot how much I enjoy this music. You can't just look at the door and tell if it was opened or not. True, but the projection should tell us. What? Luna and Quark escaped? So it would seem. Why? How? He didn't have bracelets on. Almost as if on cue, the screen flickered. And Zero Junior appeared. Well, well, well! Long time no Zero! Remember your old pal Zero? <laughs> you! I'm guessing somebody's hoping for an explanation about what the Diddleo just happened. Because we're such great friends, I decided to make an exception and descend from on high to give you the 4 1 run. Aren't you, Oppie? Uh. Oh! So, what's this explanation you've got? Well, let's start with Little Quark. He was given an anesthetic that put him to sleep. While he was out, Luna carried him through to the other side of the number 9 door. But how did she open the door? With Quark's bracelet, you silly bunny. It was still in the infirmary. Remember? Luna just hopped over there and picked it up. So I was right. Quark had 9 BP when the second round ended. Yup! But didn't he get penalized after the third round? Yes, he did. But the penalty carrot to take away your points. Just your life. The needles popped out and so on, but the points stayed the same. So Luna took Quark to the door. And since her bracelet was already off, she wouldn't have suffered the penalty. No, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Oh, right. She's a golem. Oh, Luna's not wearing a shirt. She's naked. Blue. Okay, well, I've got some questions for you, buddy. Uh, not you. Well, good thing you guys don't have questions for me. That guy's a jerk. This isn't the alphabet. <laughs> you must be feeling pretty good if you're able to jump around like that. I oh mean, my God. six people just died here. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's not really a big deal. Six people? Dio, but Alice, hold on, I want to count through. Clover, Ten Mioji, K. K. Oh, and the old woman. And the old woman. Oh, okay, that's the one that I didn't get. That's just how you humans are, after all. So, as long as you make it, nothing else matters. Am I right? No, you're wrong. Don't screw with us. It's cool, it's cool. I know you gotta act tough. I mean, you chose Betray. <laughs> that means you don't trust Luna, right? Figures? She's a golem. She might even be a murderer. That's why you were planning to leave her here and bone out, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah? You see, it's all about you. Haven't you thought about how sad you've made Luna? What? Looks like my time here is just about all used up. <laughs> wait. I still have questions for- No, I won't wait. I don't like waiting. I waited once, and some half-witted reptile got the better of me because of it. After that, I'm going to make sure to value my time. Tortoise and the hare. Alrighty then. I'll see you in the sea. Have a nice trader. Weird that Zero Junior showed up. For a few long moments, Fi and I just stared at the spot on the wall where Zero had disappeared. Where had Quark been? Who had given him an anesthetic, and why? We had no idea who'd killed everyone. 
and Zero Senior's identity as well as the purpose of the Nonary game remained a mystery. As for our futures... We're going to repopulate this warehouse! What are we supposed to do now? I hadn't meant to say the words out loud, but there they were. The tortoise won because he kept going even when it looked hopeless. I think we should do the same. We've got plenty of time, after all. We'll give the dead the closest thing to a funeral we can manage. And when that's done, we'll start looking. Even if I never leave this place, I'll figure out why we were here. I swear it. I looked at the fire in her eyes and nodded. If nothing else, at least we had a purpose. <laughs> Bad was, end. There was a sad ending. It was a game over is what it was. No! <laughs> Led there by you. We would have done it anyway. I was hoping you would go, bah! Yeah. Because <laughs> I said you. Yeah. <laughs> stupid. You're stupid. <gasps> That's so hurtful. She knows I'm kidding. See? She I whined a, back. She cracked a smile. <sighs> That's because she knew. <laughs> That's because right. she knew. We're going to go back and we're going to pick ally this time. Why don't you do it? I don't want to do I your will. dirty deeds. I would love to take minutes. credit for this. Easy to say as someone who's played this before. I always allied with Luna. <laughs> I always did. We saw her. We must trust her. That's not what you said. Nope, but Someone's this is a different timeline. Singing a different tune. Yeah, because this is a different timeline. So whiny. That's your best retort. Different timeline. Uh. <laughs> I hit ally. You're the best person, John. John wins. John is always right. Is that? Yeah. Is that better? Whenever hey, we have guess. sex Sing robots, on. I'm gonna make one that looks like Luna. <laughs> I'm sorry, when? Is this a plan? Yeah. Whenever there are sex robots. There already are. No, like... Oh, in this house. No, like, there are, not, there are not, like, sex robots yet. Aren't there? No. They're, like, making advancements with them. Ah, they're moving towards it. Yes. It's not finalized. Yes. Gotcha. No. It was a joke anyway. It was a joke. It w it was a joke. I was joking. Anyway. Are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? Shut the fuck up, Fi. Wait. We can talk about that later. Right now. I wish you would say, I just knew. Yeah. She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's, There's no, no way, way she could have left already. Then, did they find the bracelet? There it was. There it was. I thought so. She didn't pick it up. Without the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then, she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Ambidex game. Please yeah, okay. <laughs> Right. The results. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Fi's face. Yeah, just Fi's face. We already know. We already dead, know how dead. it went. Quark had nine points. Dead, dead. What if it said betray? <laughs> what? Look at that. All three of us got to nine points. Nine, nine, nine. Points <gasps> just like the song. first game. Check. What? Nine, nine, nine. What about it? It was in a row, like the first game. Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. And the other six got penalized. Penal. Yeah. Then again, five of them are already dead. We don't know where Quark is, but his bracelet's already off. Yeah, that means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... 
At what cost? Just stand by the door. All right. What do you want to yeah. do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? What? You're kidding, right? Weren't you the one who kept going on about how Quark's still alive? You can't just run off and leave him here. You sure? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. And Luna too, right? Luna. Hmm. Yes, Luna too. Because Luna's good girl. The Amethyst gets tab closed. What? Luna's the best! Round four, Starkeys. I'm not going to take that, at, you know, seriously. Take what? What you just said. Hmm. About Luna being the best. I don't think you mean it. Good, because you're right. Fi and I checked our bracelets out of sheer reflex. I was a magenta pair, just like before, but Fi had changed to a red solo. Didn't really matter, though. Both of our bracelets showed the number nine. All we had to do was open the number nine door. We'd never have to play another 8B game again. All right. Quark comes first. Let's go. She spun around and headed for the cyan door. I followed on her heels. I'd be really tempted to say that one of us should stay. Just in case they came back. But should I we stay or should we go? Oh, uh, hey, Alice. <laughs> Sorry you died. Oh, hang on. If I go, there will be trouble. But if I stay, there will be double. What is he talking about? Double what? Trouble? No, like, double trouble. That's what I just said. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that supposed to be me? Yes. <laughs> Love you. I'm patting John's leg. They can't see <laughs> No, that. she's just moving her arm around yeah. in the air. <sighs> People heard that. Did I, hurt, did I hurt you? No. Good. My knee itches. <gasps> Not right there. That help? Ooh, actually. Ooh, that's good. Ah, ooh, like right. I can't, my hand can't move like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that my knee itched. It's a weird thing when like a bony part of your body itches. Yeah, it really is though. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct? What about it, bitch? <laughs> All of a sudden, Sigma gets weirdly aggressive. Yeah. According to the map, that's the door on the bottom. On the butt. There's a lever on that thing in the middle, right? We pulled it, but it only opened one of the doors. What about it? Hmm. You actually did say, what about it? What Take about it? What about it, bitch? See the lock? Open. Yeah. Then who the hell opened it? And how? There's only one person who could have opened it. Luna. All right, let's head in. Okay. What room is it? I hope her face is off and we just see the golem face. It's the treatment center. What the heck oh. are these things? They've never been to the treatment center. I right. Think they're treatment pods of some sort. Or what? What meant pods? Are treatment pods real? Like, is this a thing that actually exists in medical science? I don't think so. I don't think so either. It's in this weird sci-fi universe. Yeah. Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. I didn't know how or why, but I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them, and I suddenly realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. It was a strange, unsettling feeling, as if somewhere deep inside was a version of myself that I didn't actually know. Hmm. One of them is lit up. The one on the left. Is it being used? The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Let's crack it open then. Yeah. Oh. Big ol' crack. 
Look at this little quirky. Qu quark. <laughs> that was a weird voice I made. I already knew it was going to be in there. Okay. I've been sitting still for too long. I'm so bad about that. Wait, what's going on? Are we... Do we take him? I think we grabbed him. Our feet pounded across the floor of the warehouse. There it is. Oh, yeah. There's the feet pounding. I wouldn't classify that as a pounding, personally. <laughs> this is it. Oh. I accidentally... But what about Luna? Cork's body bounced in my arms as I ran. His pulse and breathing were normal. He's also got a big stupid grin on his face. He was limp and unconscious, but he was alive. He looks like smug sheep. Yeah, he looks so smug. I'm getting out of here, Grandpa. <laughs> the pod's display had given us a little information on his condition. As far as we could tell, he'd been given an anesthetic, which had put him to sleep. Ready? What What's about wrong? Luna? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. He was like, I'm just gonna miss this place. <laughs> um, is it really okay for us to just leave? What the hell is this? You wanna stay here? What if Luna kills you too? What? Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. But why? Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? Zero one six. And what's that the same number as? The last three digits of Luna's product ID. Where did we find the old woman's corpse? In the AB room that Luna came out of. And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it any time she wanted. That means any alibi she might have for not being able to move the crane is worthless. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. To keep her quiet. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive, but look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? You. Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, She's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Okay. You're right. Let's get out of here. Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? You don't have to ask me. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. What if Luna's on the other side? It just opens up and she's right there. You were going to believe me, Sigma. I thought you trusted me. I <laughs> trusted you. With a heavy labored groan, the number nine door began to open. As soon as the gap was wide enough to admit her body, Fife slipped through it. I followed her through. The cork still cradled in my arms. Inside was a massive lift platform, like the kind used to move industrial cargo. Fi turned to face me, and I shoved Quark into her arms. Huh? Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. Back into the warehouse. Oh. You got my hair. 
The number nine door <laughs> has been opened. It will remain open for nine Luna! seconds. Sigma! What the hell are you thinking? Get back here! Sorry, Fi. It's just something I have to do. Her calves are the same size as... Like, her thighs are the same size as her calves. Yeah. They're also they're the same size. They're the same size as like Quark's calves. Yeah. No. He's like a little kid. You don't mean you're going to go find Luna? God damn it, Sigma! Think about what you're doing, Sigma. Listen to me. You can't do this. Watch me. You're gonna choose that bitch over me? Yeah. <laughs> Luna comes out. <laughs> the number nine door has closed. I'm gonna skip this because it's just the same this thing every time. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. I like the little monologue of like escape is not possible. You're here forever, but please enjoy your stay. Yeah. yeah. I had no regrets. In fact, with Fi and Quark's successful escape, I felt a profound sense of relief. One of my objectives had been achieved, and a difficult choice had been made. My mind felt clear and focused, more so than it had in a long time. All right, time to go. Luna's waiting. Luna's waiting? Luna, I knew you'd be here. You knew? Oh, right. We haven't talked here in this one, huh? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? What? I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. Who told you that? Luna looked down at the music box around her neck. Carefully and delicately, she twisted the dial on the bottom. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Well, actually, I already know you didn't do it. Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. All right. I nodded and took a moment to compose my thoughts. Might as well start with the old woman. There's no point being around the bush, I suppose. Dio killed her. Why do you think so? Basically, like, putting together clues from other timelines into this one, which is cool. Yeah. Her left arm had blood splatter. Blood spatter, which is the correct term. All the way up to the elbow. Except for a stripe on the wrist that was perfectly clean. What could have caused that? My guess is a bracelet. It got covered with blood and kept her wrist clean. Obviously, none of our bracelets had blood spatter on them, but Dio's bracelet reacted to the luminol. That meant Dio's bracelet had to have come from the old woman. Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? No, that's only enough to suspect him. After all, he could have just taken the bracelet after someone else killed her. Then why are you so sure? Because he confessed. What? After his bracelet reacted to the luminol, I confronted him. All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? In a different timeline. Isn't that against the rules? 
What rules? I hope you're not going to try and bring up Nox's Ten Commandments. I think it's like of time travel. Does it really matter if it's against the rules or fair? The truth is the, the truth. Oh, I thought it was going to keep going. Let's say that incident P happens, and after that, the timeline splits into timeline A and timeline B. I don't think it's unfair to base a theory in timeline A on information I found in timeline B. After all, A and B both came from the same place. P. If you trace the history of both timelines, you'd end up back at Incident P. Now, if I could change what happened with Incident P by visiting Timeline A or B, then yes, it'd be a different story. I don't know that it'd be unfair, per se, but it'd certainly be breaking some pretty big rules. Like, you know, principle of causality. I'm sure that Dio killed the old woman. By extension, that means you couldn't have killed her. I'm assuming Dio wasn't originally intended to be part of the nonary game. Somehow he got in and took the old woman's place. That's how he ended up as Quark's partner. This is just an educated guess, but I have a feeling his plan was to replace one of us. I doubt it mattered which one. I have no idea why he would want to do something like that. And I don't know how he did it either. E either. Eviator. Eviator. But the fact remains that he did. He hid in the warehouse on 4A and waited for someone to come out of one of the AB rooms. That someone turned out to be the old woman. She left Quark asleep in the AB room and came out on her own. Somehow he managed to get close enough to stab her. He did it near the wall with the graffiti on it. I'm guessing he stabbed her from behind so that he wouldn't get any blood on himself. As soon as she was dead, he wrapped up the knife. He wrapped the knife up in the handkerchief. No, wait, actually... He probably took the bracelet first. Then he would have needed to wipe the blood off, so he used the handkerchief for that, too. Anyway, the point is, he got the bracelet and put it on. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the rightmost AB room and its neighbor. He probably didn't expect that they'd move, or he would have put it somewhere else. After that, he headed back into the AB room that the woman had left. Quark would have still been fast asleep, so as far as he knew, Dio was there the whole time. This does raise a few other questions, but I'll save those for later. For now, let's move on to the other murders. Well, actually, one of them probably isn't a murder. What do you mean? We're talking about Alice. I'm pretty sure she... committed suicide. Oh, maybe she did have the scalpel this time. I thought it was the knife, though. Yeah, unless she grabbed All it from... Humanity. Going to die. Like in some timelines she has the knife in her chest and in some timelines she has the scalpel and I can't keep it straight. Adults, children, everyone, everyone, there won't be anyone left. I, I, I like a Dallas. She's been infected with Radical 6. I think that infection caused her to take her own life. She used Dio's knife, which she'd found in the warehouse after the AB room moved and exposed it. Oh. She took it with her and then used it to stab herself in the crew quarters. Okay, so just the weapon changes. Next are Clover and Temioji. First question is who put the handcuffs on them? The clue is the message Clover left 016. If you think about it, though, it doesn't make sense. Clover's left hand was in the handcuffs. That means she would have had to write with her right hand on her right thigh. Felt like it would be really hard to do that, you know? Why well, just use your left thigh? The thing is, I think she did. When she died, her legs slumped together, and the message got transferred to the right thigh. We just never saw the original because we didn't bother to check the other leg. In other words, she wasn't trying to write 016. She was trying to write Dio. 
With her dying breath, she was trying to tell us the name of her killer. Now, about Kay and Dio. I think there's a pretty good chance Dio killed Kay. Here's how I imagine it happened. Kay probably sprayed Dio's bracelet with the luminol. We found the bottle in Kay's robe. He wouldn't have seen the reaction immediately, but Dio would have known what was coming. As soon as Kay turned the lights off, it would be clear that Dio had taken the old woman's bracelet. My guess is he decided to take preemptive action. When we found their bodies, the lights in the rec room were on. Maybe Kay turned to switch the light off, and Dio took that opportunity to attack him. Kay was hurt pretty bad, but he didn't die right away. He probably managed to grab the spear and stab Dio. Then he died. So that accounts for all six bodies. None of them your fault. Sigma, I'm glad you don't think I did it, but... All of your theories are just, well, theories. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say, or even that it was supposed to refer to Dio. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... Why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? That's why I trust you. What? I trust you because you're a robot. Your robot... Ness, it's just one more reason you can't be the killer. Well, three more reasons. Right. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Ow. What was that? I was, uh... I had my arm against the desk. Eh. Oh, and it left a mark. It left an indent that you can feel. I hate uh. when that happens. And then you peeled it off really fast and felt like ripping a band-aid off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Sigma. Luna, I have to ask you. Can you tell me, well, everything you know? Your mind is in the central server. You should know everything that's happening here. Or happened here. It was a long pause. Luna stood up and walked deeper into the garden. I followed her in silence. Then she drowned me in the river. Yeah. She gave me a swirly in the pool. Eventually we reached the bench. Luna quietly sat down and, just like last time, I lowered myself down beside her. You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. That doesn't matter. Tell me everything. Well, first, yes. Dio did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. That doesn't really sound like sneaking. It sounds more like he just walked in. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily, but that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. What do you mean? Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. So they brought him here? In a way. But why? Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. What project? I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? Anyway, Dio found his way in. 
They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. So why did he come here? To make sure Zero's project failed. His first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. 5th and 6th? Counting from the left in their original placement. In other words, the rightmost room would be the 6th room, and the one next to it would be the 5th, yes. Right. <laughs> they get so specific. Yes, After Sigma. That, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. What were you doing while that was happening? Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Junior had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the fifth room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Junior. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Wait, the Zero Junior controls everything. Then he was the one who moved the sixth room with the crane. Yes, that's right. Zero Junior moved the room, not me. Then who moved the old woman? Me. It took me ten minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Why'd you do that? Because I was ordered to. What? Luna, I thought there would be like, game over. Carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes, I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen. I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna, I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Yes. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the AB room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth AB room. But, why? Not your concern. 
As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio, or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I like the old woman's voice. Does it sound familiar? After that, I went into the AB Is room she the and I told to. As soon as I stepped inside, my body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake, so I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. And you saw the old woman being murdered. Yes. It was... hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve, when I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart felt like it snapped in two. I think I understand. Everything you did, you did because you'd been ordered to. Yes. And it was the old woman who gave you those orders. Then is she... Zero Senior? No. What? But... If she gave you the orders... She did, but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. There was someone else? Yes. And that person is Zero Senior? Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. But why? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. They didn't want people to suspect you, then why have you moved the body in the first place? Eventually we'd figure out that the rooms had been moved and that she was in your room. Then... maybe they wanted the opposite. You mean... Maybe they wanted you to suspect me. That doesn't make sense either. If they want people to suspect you. Why move the room? You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. You mean like Alice? Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. So they somehow knew Dio would hide the knife there? Yes. I think so. But how could they know that? Whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, 
That would be zero hours, zero minutes. Wait. You were listening to us in the security office? Yes. That wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. You were watching through the security cameras. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we're at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room two in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. If you lie or try to play dumb or something, I'll kill you right in front of her! I told her the truth, of course. I explained right that I hadn't killed Alice. Alice. Because uh, they were in the same room where Alice died. Oh. Just a weird but threat. she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Because of your orders? Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course, while we were fighting over it. You done got got. Yeah. Well, hold on a minute. The trigger got pulled in the fight. I get that part. But what I don't understand is why it did anything to you. You mean because I'm a golem? Yeah. One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. That's why you, uh, died? To keep up the facade that you were human? No. I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. How can you be so sure? When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. You mean the defibrillator? Yes. That uses an electric shock to restart the heart, right? Correct. Hmm. Just over explaining in a yeah, weird yeah. way. Yeah. So, yeah, over explaining what a defibrillator is. Yeah. So that was why she left. Yes. At 0 hours 11 minutes 40 seconds, Clover left the cabin in the crew quarters. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes. Dio? I guess I... she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. And he just watched her go by. Yes. I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. He had something else. At zero hours, twelve minutes, Dio enters he the room. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. Yeah, I bet. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. <laughs> Wouldn't imagine it would. What did he do then? He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Right. Without it, Dio and Kay, the yellow pair, wouldn't be able to get through the secondary door. 
right? Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Of course! Fi had already taken it by then. Yes, but there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. That's right, so he never actually killed Alice. No. But why did he want the knife? Was it because he'd used it to kill the old woman? No, I don't think so. Then what do you think? Then what do you think? What do you think? I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Why wouldn't he want anyone to see that? Do you remember what it said? There was a word engraved on the blade. Myrmidons. Yes. What does Myrmidons it's mean? It's the name of the organization he belongs to. Uh, what is it, like a club or something? I don't think so. Well, what is it then? Um, I don't really know. It's a cult! Come on, you know this, Sigma. No idea. I'm afraid not. He's like, well, let me tell you. Wait, wasn't he here to try to stop whatever Zero was doing? Yes. Then, wouldn't that mean that he's on our side? Um, I don't know about that. Exactly. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. Hmm. Got a point. Damn it! This is ridiculous. I guess this is... Or, I guess this enemy of my enemy isn't my friend, huh? May I continue? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Can I keep talking, you weird human? After he took the knife, Dio rifled through what few belongings Zalus had. Oh. oh. Luna said he didn't seem to be looking for anything in particular. He was probably just checking to see if she had anything useful. That was where he found the key to Kay's suit. <gasps> right. Bum bum bum. He didn't seem to have any particular reason for taking it. At least as far as I could tell. <laughs> At zero hours, 13 minutes, Dio left the room. He heard Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back, but Theo didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? But it was on accident! When Clover tried to push past Dio, I said, they began to fight. <laughs> you don't have to say that, I said. I know. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Language, Dio! Hi, now. Dio pulled a knife out of his pocket and pointed it at Clover's throat. That was when he showed up. Quark, Dio. What the hell are you doing? What about Quark? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch. He let out a yell and leapt toward Dio. The younger man dodged him easily and lashed out with the knife. Ten Miyoji caught Dio's hand with a grunt, and for a moment, the two men struggled. Then, as the knife edged closer, he wrapped his other hand around the blade and tried to force it away. Eww. But Dio was a much younger and stronger man, and the wound Ten Miyoji gave himself with the knife didn't do him any favors. He put up a valiant fight, but with a roar, Dio threw him off, and Ten Miyoji collapsed to the floor. What are you going to do? Let's see. How about this? Ah! <laughs> How cute. 
You two really look great together, you know? What are you going to do to us? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna handcuff you to a sink. Actually, I already have. Are you gonna beat us to death or something? Ugh, no. Nothing so tasteless. <laughs> Ew. What are you going to do then? How do you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got... Oh, 20-some minutes until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close. Give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized! Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the Floor B warehouse, okay? I bet Enjoy you your last I 25 do. minutes. Later. <laughs> Later? So 25 mean. minutes passed and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. You mean me, Phi, and K, right? Yes. You were in the crew quarters at this point. Yeah. K had told us about you. We also noticed that the knife in Alice's chest had been removed. If only we'd known what was happening in the infirmary. Unfortunately for Clover and Tenmyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. The anesthetic, right? Yes. Almost immediately, they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. And the word she wrote was Dio. Yes. Well, isn't it lucky that that's also 016? As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. So Kay sprayed Dio's bracelet with the luminol. Then while his back was turned, Dio attacked him with the axe. Squirt, squirt. Dio mortally wounded him, but didn't kill him. So Kay turned around to stab Dio with the spear. And I guess that's when we found them. Yes. Am I holding you up? Mm-hmm. You sure are. She's looking at her watch. I got a text message. I'm sorry. It's so popular. It's from your family. That's right. Cover it up. Give me your watch. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's testing my stress levels. What did Kay get the luminol? After they went through the white door, Dio and Kay found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Dio expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. And that was when he found the luminol. Right. That was when it happened. That's when he found it. Right. All right. Uh, this is a really long that's segment. That's <laughs> everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Well... What do you think? Is the bear shit in the woods? Um... Well, the first thing is Quark's bracelet. Why was it in the infirmary? Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. <laughs> I was like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we're gonna go... We're gonna go all the way... to the end of the segment. I just thought it would be funny if I... <laughs> cracked a little joke there. Ugh.
Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say joke? I meant dad joke. Because apparently all jokes are just dad jokes. Only when you do them. Yeah. Only if it's a man over the age of 25 that does them. They're a dad joke. No. I mean you. Why was the bracelet being <laughs> firm? Ten Miyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. Stop tickling me. I'm just trying to show my love. <laughs> but why did Temioji have Quark's bracelet? I told him where it was. When? Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fi and Temioji? Yeah, when he sprayed us with the luminol, right? Sure, I remember that. Right after then. Sure, I remember that. When he left that. the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji, the center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. Directing traffic. <laughs> that was the treatment room, right? Yes. Where Quark was sleeping. Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Out of relief, right? Yes. The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. <laughs> but, right? I know it's happening it emotionally. He was alive the moment you looked at it. I know you got robot arms, Sigma, but come on. <laughs> Human brain, Next hopefully. To the pod was Quark's Silly reason. man. That was how Tenmyoji got it. Why was Quark's bracelet off? I took it off. How? Aluminum foil. What? What? You mean the stuff from the crew quarters? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? That's why tin foil hat. Oh, right, right, right. Right. But why does that matter? What? Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. You can see little bracelets we have on that. They're always watching. So you just... Wait, so you're telling me the aluminum foil can block the electromagnetic waves your heart sends out? Yes. All you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. And the bracelet thinks your heart is stopped. Yes. When you have to tuck it underneath? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Wait, why was Quark in the pod to begin with? Oh, that's easy. I put him there. When did you do that? Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. So you carried him to the treatment pod? Yes. Were you the one who unlocked the treatment center, too? No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. Interesting. So it was Zero Junior. That's right. You reactivated your body too, right? Man, I don't get any of this. Why the hell did he do that? Hmm. Guess it wasn't really him that did it, huh? He was just doing what Zero Senior and the old lady told him to do. Everything leads back to them, huh? <laughs> of course it does. So, you're gonna tell me? Tell you what? Isn't that obvious? Tell me what this project is. Everything that happens in here has something to do with it. So why were we brought here? To play the nonary game. And yes. why were we supposed to play the nonary game? That was part of the project. Why did Alice kill herself? Because she was infected with Radical Six. Oh my god. How did she get infected? Zero Senior and the old woman did that. Why? It was a necessary evil. 
It had to happen for the project to succeed. What would have happened if Alice hadn't committed suicide? Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Um, killed me. Then what? I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. In other words, you're saying Clover and Temyoji died for this project. Yes. Well, actually, it was the Tibokurian that killed them. But they were only injected with it because of their bracelets. And they were only wearing those bracelets because of the Nonary game. If the Nonary game was part of the project, then that's one more way it killed them. I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Now what about Kay and Dio? Why would they kill each other? Because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. Then if Dio hadn't killed the old lady, what would happen in the rec room? What happened in the rec room would never have taken place, right? Yes. So let me ask you this. Why did Dio kill her? We already so know. So he could pose as one of the participants. And why did he do that? To disrupt the project. Then why did she let him kill her? The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. The project couldn't be allowed to fail. So what is the project? Yeah, Luna's not really going to answer some of the bigger questions. Six people died here. Four of them were murdered, one way or another, by Dio. At first, that makes it look like Dio's the reason they all died. That's not true, is it? All of them. All six of them. They all died for this project. That means that the murderer, or I guess I should say murderers, were the old lady and Zero Senior, right? Please, Luna, tell me. What is this project about? Who is the old woman? Who is Zero? Sigma. Would you... hug me? What? Instead of answering, Luna wrapped her arms around me and buried her face in my chest. My own arms hovered in the air, confused about where they should go. I swallowed hard and tried to rein in my heartbeat, which had suddenly doubled. What is this t-shirt we're wearing? It's his, like, fucking car mechanic thing. I do like the thing that where it says bad. Though. I know, I think that's funny. I was about to speak when I heard something warm on my chest. Was Luna crying? This feels nice. Her voice shook as she spoke. I lowered one hand to her head and began to gently stroke her hair. Uh... Hey, Luna. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry. My ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubal curarine... Okay, okay. I get it. This... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. I wrapped my arms around Luna and hugged her as, tart as, as tight as I could. As tart as I could. me this whole time. This is serious. Yeah. Even though I look like... Like this? Of course. I trust you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, you're the tool of I murderers. I stay here forever. You feel so nice. But I think my time is up. What? I've done things I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. What? Yes. 
that was the first thing. The second... Do you know what the second one was? If I had really wanted to, I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself, and I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I... I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is... very, very bad. Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course, but everything that's stored in the core, your memories, your consciousness, is deleted. <laughs> What? Wait. Are you saying- Yes. Very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. What? Why? I watched six mm. people die and did nothing. I deserved this. No. No you don't. Even if you had done something, you would have been killed anyway. You can't blame yourself. You did what you could. You're not wrong. This game is what's wrong. Forcing you to watch your friends die is what's wrong. Oh, Sigma. Thank you. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. Luna! 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 It's going to be okay. Aww. I'm not going to let them do this. You're gonna be fine, I promise. Just please don't. I'm sorry. My time's up. At least I get to die in your arms. Luna! Thank you, Sigma. And goodbye, Doctor. Doctor? But she couldn't answer. I squeezed my eyes shut and held her, unable to bear the thought of letting any more of her slip away. Is her skin melting off? Literally slipping away. Aww. With one last quiet chime, the music box wound down. I was left with nothing but silence and the cold pool of tears over my heart. Well, that was uh, Luna's ending. Bummer. Which means that uh, old Sigma's just wandering the warehouse by himself now. For eternity. Forever. Yeah. Wow. So that was a good one, right? That was a good one. I, I did not that. expect her to be a golem. She's a golem. I kind of thought Luna. Fi would be... Yeah, I suspected Phi to be a golem too, and, and you know, Kay. it's just something we can rule out. But you'd think she would have mentioned it. Uh, so we've gotten seven endings so far. The okay. two that we don't have are Quark and Phi. Phi. I'm so excited about Phi's. So what we're gonna be doing in the next uh, video? Here, let me show oh. you the flow chart. So we just got this one. Just got the well, Luna end. No. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go back here to something. Five minutes of life. That we uh we were here like in like part seven or something. Yeah. Like that. Basically, the scenario is that uh, Dio has the Accelivere and uh, we are at, I believe, negative one BP. Mm -hmm. So we're about to die. And we didn't know that he had the Accelivere. No, he d we did know. Oh, we did know? We did know because he, he blackmailed us. He said, I'm going to smash the Accelivere unless you vote ally. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then we would betray. And if you tell anyone, I'll smash it. Right. So, uh, anyway. So, and then after we're done with this little route over here, then we're going to go, I think, finally here. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, Phi's about to leave. Right. So, those are the two places that we're going to go next. Next video, we'll probably just do this.
Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's talk about what we just witnessed. That was very sad. Very sad. Even though it was Luna, who you hate. I did not ever say. Oh, you didn't say it. That I hated no, Luna. She didn't I just say found her it, annoying, but... and I stated that clearly and loudly for all to know that I found Luna an annoying character. She hates her. I do not hate her. <coughs> My throat got dry. <coughs> I didn't even want to hear it about a dry throat. After all, I've had to read. All right, listen. That was very interesting. That was a very good twist for her character that mm -hmm. I did not expect. So, you're right, John. But Luna what? is a great character. I never said she was a great character. You said that she was best girl. Yeah. I mean, look at her competition, though. Yeah. It's true. She's got Clover and Alice, two of the most boring characters in the game, as it turns out. I know, which is so sad because they should Fi. not have been at all. Yeah. I know a lot of people are going to say it's Fi, best girl, but. I am Those excited are... about Fi's story. Huh? I am excited about Fi's story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she hacked Ju uh, Zero Jr., which is real exciting to me. That explains. She turned herself back on. So, yeah. So that explains his disappearance because he just sort of never appears again. Mm hmm. After well, a certain point. Well, he showed up in uh, the game over that we got on the other side. Mm -hmm. Because he interesting. he woke up again from the hack. Yeah. So, sorry, I'm creating a big old shadow. I don't care. Okay. Hopefully they don't either. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, uh, it was interesting that we sent Fi and quirk out and then we're just like good luck fend for yourselves bye because he knows that he can jump yeah so he might as well get answers from luna while he can yeah so luna luna the luna ending is like a big bottleneck for the game because mm -hmm. in order to unlock the luna ending you have to unlock the k ending mm -hmm. which in order to unlock that you have to unlock uh i believe uh, the Temiochi ending, maybe? I can't remember, but you I have to... I think so, because that was our first ending. You have to basically get K, Dio, Temiochi, Clover, Alice, and Sigma before you can unlock Luna. Mm -hmm. So it's a big ball neck for the game. Yeah. So, but we, we've got seven out of nine endings, so... What did you think the first time you played this? Uh, at this point, I had, like, tons of theories about certain things like certain small things that she kind of touched on mm -hmm. but like the big thing is like why is this all happening i had no idea yeah i couldn't figure it out and i mean it there's really no clues mm -mm. telling you why all this is happening and what the project is and what zero's motivations are the only thing i could possibly think of is that they are trying to research sigma and his ability to jump timelines uh, because she said they told me that you could do that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like that must be at least part of the project, if not the sole purpose of the project. Yeah. Because the last one was about people being able to communicate telepathically. Yeah, it was like a it was a test, basically. Right. So I feel like this is that same idea of it's a test, but it's to jump timelines. Yeah. Which I'm really glad is not a real thing that we know of. Yeah. Well, it's not a bad theory, but there's going to be a lot that is going to seem to... There's going to be a lot that you won't predict. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Because yeah. I, I like my theory, but I don't want it to be it. I don't think there's any way you could predict all of the twists that happen at the end in this game. Okay. Just in my opinion. There's just right. not enough... There's not enough basis for it you'd have to take a lot of leaps of in logic in order to get there so it'll be fun that's cool that's really yeah. that's really good there are like but there are hints for everything in the game there are okay. like hints but they, they do a very good job of making them seem like they're just kind of you know oh they just said that because because like, that's part of their character yeah having another explanation for it so because there have been several times when luna has said things and when they're showing flashbacks 
like when she was like, you know, without the three laws of robotics, robots are just metal and plastic. Like that was a great hint that she was talking about herself. Right. And I would love to say that I was like, there's a lot of, I knew it. She's a robot. But like, no. I, yeah, there's a lot of really small hints that she's talking about herself being a robot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, well, this has been a long video, but these have all been long videos. So we're just try going to try to get through this game. I think we've probably got about four parts left-ish, mm -hmm. give or take. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video posted tomorrow. Think critically.